All right, we ran into this problem on the Big Ten differential equations and slope fields review, and it deals with this idea of having a non-separable differential equation, but we're told it has a linear particular solution. And so they give us this differential equation. They, they tell us it is not separable, and we see that it's not because we have this 8x minus 2y here dy dx equals 8x minus 2y has a linear particular solution y equals mx plus b find m plus b we haven't seen one like this before so I thought it would be good for me to uh, create a, a short teaching video on it so what we have to do here is we have to work from what we know to the differential equation and kind of back again so let me show you what I mean if y equals mx plus b then dy dx if I take the derivative of y with respect to x is just m and look what I have here I have a statement of equality that says dy dx equals m well I also have a statement up here that says dy dx equals 8x minus 2y so let's set m equal to 8x minus 2y. Well, I have another statement of equality right here that y is equal to mx plus b. So I can put mx plus b in for y. So I now have that m equals 8x minus 2 times the quantity mx plus b. Doing some algebraic simplification, I have that m equals 8x minus 2mx minus 2b. And then I have that m equals, if I factor out an x here, I have 8 minus 2m the quantity times x minus 2b. And this is where we learned some, something a little bit new, uh, but it really does make common sense. Look at what I have here. I have a statement saying that m equals this mess x minus 2b. Well, m is a constant. Remember from our slope definition y equals mx plus b it's a constant so if m is a constant that means that this thing right here has to be zero if it wasn't zero this part b is a constant all right this thing right here, this 8 minus 2m, has to be 0, or m would not be a constant. Or another way to think of this, there's a couple other statements here that we need to think about. If this thing is 0, then I could think of this as 0x plus m. All right? So this thing needs to be 0. All right, and so if I keep going, if that thing's equal to zero, then I have this other little statement that's going to come in handy in a minute that m is just going to be equal to negative 2b. Those two things right there are going to lead us to finishing this problem. Watch how easily it finishes up now. If I know that this thing right here is equal to zero, then I can come over to this side and I can set 8 minus 2m equal to 0 and solve it. Add 2m to both sides, 8 equals 2m, so m equals 4. And if I know that m equals 4, and I also know that m equals negative 2b, then I can take the fact that m equals 4 and put it into here and I have that 4 
equals negative 2b. So b has to equal negative 2. And in this problem, we were told to find m plus b. So m plus b is just going to be 4 plus negative 2, which is 2. What I also want you to notice, though, is that because we were not asked to do this on this specific problem, but because we know m and b, I could write this particular solution now. And I'm just mentioning this because you may have to do this. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's on the test or in another situation. I could now write the particular solution. Y equals 4x minus 2 because b was negative 2 and the slope was 4. And so I found that an interesting problem that we could all learn and grow from, so I wanted to create a teaching video on it. This is going from a non-separable differential equation, but we're told that it has a linear particular solution, and I hope that helps you today.